Had a good clean fight. First round knockout for Pacquiao. Six for Barrera. Beats his off and goes to the bottom of the boat cast. What I like to point out is... Cole saw that punch land. Happened. I didn't see a heavy punch land. It looked as much like a flip as anything else. Casually, but Barrera is much more aggressive than I. Stares through the door. Three of the counter back accurately when Pacquiao lands over the top. Alvarez goes with the body, the left hook. Great action in the first round. Our left hand counter by the interpreter is great time. Good left hand to the body. He scored that. He struck perhaps that. Very effective in trying to get his range in our face. Step forward one step to get into range to land his jab. And since that time, he's been tactically in control. Take control with the jab, but Hacker is trying to take control. He's, 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 and at this stage, the clip punches, for the most part, is round and still being landed by Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao has come out with a determined rally in round two. And to get back up on the scoreboard after that strange knockdown ruling in round number one. Hey! Hey, 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 than we've ever seen it. And he's now definitely trying to stay away and not always able to do it. Pacquiao, though, he can't stand and go toe-to-toe -to -toe because of Pacquiao's right hand to his right side of his head, which means he's very vulnerable for straight left. Barrera getting three chances to counter with a left hook, but taking a lot of leather to do it. Barrera's left eye is now starting to swell badly. Manny Pacquiao smiling as he continues numbers in the fourth round. Marco hoping that Gal will run out of gas a little bit. Was surrounded by fire and he had to take it amid all the movie stars. A fine and Santa Monica. Hard right hand by Pacquiao. Burr just trying to stay away. Bad cut on his left cheek. It's either a cut or a mark of some... It is not dripping blood. No, it's probably a mark of some kind. But Pacquiao... Another hard left hand for Pacquiao who's... Not seen so much hooks, maybe. Even though Mark went on, though it appears to be another round that Pacquiao is like. I'm thinking of something Larry Merchant took. It's really hard to beat a good fighter that has a lot of spirit. Lot. In a real sense, Herrera's on town. This is where at the last few rounds and he's up at all. I think he's going to fight the same pace and not take a break at the end of the fight. He's the Texas judges here tonight, too. Those governing body judges who gave Travis his draw with Whitaker. Going to the body effectively. Starting to dominate every area of the fight now. Barrera gets a hard right hand back. Thinks he's hurt Pacquiao. Chases him down a little bit. First hard thing. left to the body by Pacquiao. You know, that rally can out a great pro right tonight. Moment gives as good as he takes. Another right hand over the top. The 
more skill and not quite as much power in his weight class. But, but it brings a lot of spirit too much like Mayock. And that, that's really a quality that is hard to give up. Right now, he cannot time the rhythm and the movement of Pacquiao. The punches, the Pacquiao is smart. He's not really throwing hard punches now. He's throwing volumes of punches. Just enough to keep him busy. And then actually, you're I can safely coach to lose on a decision. I can get him and let it all go out for a knockout. I would try to go all out for a knockout, because he can't handle the speed of the move. Thing for Barrera now, minus 40 wouldn't hurt him. He can't win a decision. Only the pass. Big left hand again by Pacquiao. Herrera having trouble seeing out of his left eye. Herrera talking to the referee and saying, what about him? Pacquiao just hammering him. Just hammering him. Right to the left. Herrera's not going to push that out of him. That's not him. He's too aggressive, laying too many shots, and one quick foot, and that's seven large bullies. But off of this, I'm not sure that even if there is, that Herrera would... But I agree with you, well, I tell you what, as big as he is down there, he's a star in the making. And he popped out with a sensational performance so far. Assaulting Marco Antonio Pereira, mugging him, and about to leave him in the gutter. With a lopsided loss. He doesn't want to leave anything to chance. But he's not close and he's not lighting it up like that. I think if Marco Antonio Pereira is going to move, and you would have to keep fighting him. When they make that move, if you slow down, you lose the title. That's why those guys win a lot of close controversial decisions. You have to wonder now whether the rematch. Third. As great as Barrera is, should his corner keep sending him out to take this kind of punishment? Here's Freddie Roach saying if you can land the right hook and right hook opportunity, that will shake up the boxing world. Sure will. Barrera is one of. The highest regarded fighters in the world. He's an icon. One of the most, been one of the most entertaining fighters in the world. In the belly and he's Second official knockdown of the fight for Pacquiao. He's right on top of Herrera. Pacquiao was right there as soon as the referee. He looked like Jack Dempsey against Jess Willard. I wouldn't send him out for the 